This is our lesson number 68, <clears throat> starting from Sapphire Kingdom Gemology YouTube channel. And uh, I will upload a lesson twice a month. That means week after week, Saturday 5 p.m. This is scheduled for tomorrow. That means 24th May 5 p.m. So I am starting now the lesson. In this lesson, we are identifying how to identify red gemstones. For example, ruby, garnet and spinel. There are red color stones. There are three stones. We need to identify the difference between ruby and the others. So we are learning here that one. How we identify ruby gemstones. Shall we move to inside? And the ruby and the glass. Difference between ruby and the glass also we need to understand well. So the lesson is how we identify rubies. It is lesson number 64. Please follow the lesson number order from start starting lesson 1 up to here. How we identify rubies. If you forgot to subscribe yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon to receive the notifications when I uploaded one. And please share to our youth to learn them and join to gem industry without spending any money. Now this is triagonal. That means <clears throat> triangular in cross section. Look at the stones I show. Ruby, six sided ruby and the double pyramid, bipyramidal. So all other ruby natural stones, triangular in cross section, that is called triangular. This is the important thing about the crystal shape. Now you can identify the ruby crystals. Tabular, tabular means column-like, column-like growth. This is tabular, column-like growth. It is rubies. Uh, crystal habit and bipyramidal also there. Look at the bipyramidal top side, six sided. Im improved this up and down. This is C axis. Within C axis up and down, there is a pyramidal shape called bipyramidal. Both sides grow as pyramids. So tabular, triagonal, tabular, bipyramid. These are the crystal shapes in ruby. And look at the hexagonal six-sided. Look at the dotted line shows you the six-sided shape. This is mother stone. Calcite or something mother stone, mother mineral. On the top of the mineral, it is growing from bottom to top. Hexagonal sides are there. It is ruby's crystal behavior. When we come to here, what is here? Triangular growth marks and striations are there. Striations means parallel lines. Look at the stone here. Look at the diagram here. The column like here. Tabular, tabular growth. The diagram shows tabular growth and triangles on the top of some places. It is triangular growth marks, growth marks, triangular growth marks may be there. Strations, strations means parallel lines in some six sides. The parallel lines may be there. These are the crystal behavior. So you can identify well the ruby than the other stones. So you have to identify it properly. Look at the stone. Mother, white color is mother stone. The mother stone is the environment. This is another mineral. But this is the red color one is ruby. All red color ones are rubies. Look at the striations. 
look at the stations and the sixth site also here so these are the crystal habits in ruby and here we can see the ruby id gems like a gemologist you can find gems like a gemologist look at the six sided six sided growth six sided rutile silk growth in my lesson number 2 i explain how how the star effect is creation create so now you can understand these are the six sided sides in a ruby it is ruby id and look at here ruby gemstones mother stone and the ruby ruby in the mother stone so you can identify well and you have to understand the difference between ruby and the glass ruby and the glass can you see the damages in the facet edges it is glass facet edges are slightly rounded sometimes so it is showing us a glass it is not a ruby ruby's hardness is 9 but the glass is 5 or 5.5 so look at the difference facet edges are slightly rounded these facet edges are slightly rounded it is glass look at here this a ruby look at the blood red color red color not the pink color it must be red so and inside there needle like inclusions rutile inclusions can identify ruby id is the color is red and the inclusions needle like inclusions may be there so this is a very important ruby id and one more thing is this is ruby when we see the inside of ruby we can see some bubbles inside the stone these are the bubbles these bubbles are two phase inclusions these bubbles are filled with two phase inclusions what is two phase inclusions it is liquid liquid phase and the gas phase all the components inside the earth are three phase three phase solid solid phase liquid phase gas phase out of these three liquid and gas two phase inclusions are inside rubies so you can identify it imagine the bubble level but trapped inside gas and liquid and here these are ruby rough stones it pebbled because of the water because of water or some erosion the shape is like this pebbles and absorption spectrum of ruby is like this in red area and violet regions you can see the black absorption lines violet regions of the blue and violet regions of the color spectrum with some lines in the red and the blue area red and red area is these color lines absorption spectra and the blue area little bit thicker line and the small thin line so this is the id of absorption spectrum of a ruby remember it if we see through the spectrometer we can see these lines well then we can identify that is not spinel that is not glass that is ruby and for this look at these two two things rough stones look out for six sided crystals remember these 
six sided crystals needle inclusions sharp facet edges if it is a faceted stone sharp facet edges may be there if it is not sharp facet edges like this facet edges are slightly rounded it is not ruby so remember this sharp facet edges compulsory blood red color is the other one these are the main four things i need to explain you you have to watch six sided crystals needle inclusions that means two phase inclusions liquid inclusions and the gas include glass bubbles liquid bubbles and gas bubbles sharp facet edges must be there if it is a ruby color must be blood red color so these are the very important four things you have to find out look at this ola red color three stones out of these three stones one is ruby the other ones are spinel low garnet or something so to identify this you can use your uv light ultraviolet light because of chromium in inside the ruby there are chromium color chromium element so because of this chromium element it glows red under bright red under uv light this is the test when we use the and uh, uv light uv flashlight ultraviolet flashlight uv means ultraviolet when we use it we can use we can see these three red color stones glowing with nice vivid red color because of the chromium content of the stone chromium content of the ruby now you can identify ruby the uh, separating the other red color stones if you forgot to subscribe yet please subscribe and share it in next lesson we are learning diamonds from lesson 69 we are learning diamonds more and more so don't miss please write down a note and study that note well and remind it occasionally then take the advantage to take this advantage to go to gem industry then we are meet when we are meeting in 69th lesson i am going to start